Today on Sugar Spun Run, we'll be making baked donuts. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I am so excited to be sharing another carefully tested, well-researched, and perfected recipe. These are super light and fluffy, no yeast donuts, and I know you are going to absolutely love them, so let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, I like to go ahead and melt three tablespoons of butter. We don't need this just yet, but I like to set it aside so it has some time to cool before we do actually need it. Next, go ahead and grab yourself a large bowl with two cups of all-purpose flour. We are going to add one fourth cup of granulated sugar, one fourth cup of firmly packed light brown sugar, a tablespoon of cornstarch, a teaspoon of baking powder, fourth teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. I also like to add just an eighth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. This is optional, but it gives the donuts a really nice bakery-esque flavor. Now whisk these together really well until everything is nicely combined, and then we'll set that aside. Next, in a large measuring cup or in a bowl, you're going to want to measure out one cup of buttermilk. Now remember that butter we melted just a little while ago? Go ahead and grab that, and while you are whisking your milk, we're going to slowly pour this into the milk mixture. Now, most likely the mixture is going to curdle a little bit. That's totally fine, but by whisking it, we help prevent it as much as possible, and we help make this mixture as smooth as we can. Now we're also going to add one large egg and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. And again, we'll whisk everything together really, really well. Now go ahead and add this to your flour mixture. And we'll use the spatula to fold everything together until the ingredients are well combined. Now you do wanna be careful that you don't overmix this batter or your donuts will end up dense rather than fluffy, but you do wanna make sure that all of the ingredients are nicely combined. We'll need to portion this batter into our donut pans, and you can just spoon it in if you'd like, but I found it a little bit easier to just pour the batter into a large Ziploc bag or a piping bag, and then I'm going to use it to pipe into the donut pan. We're going to be making a dozen donuts, so you'll need two of these donut pans. I'll make sure to link to my exact ones in the description so you can grab yourself a set if you don't already have one. Now these are nonstick, but you can never really trust a nonstick baking pan, so I like to give them a nice spray with baking spray. And of course, this always comes out a little bit aggressively, so I'm just gonna use a paper towel so that we just have a thin layer of baking spray in each cavity. Now grab your bag of batter and we'll just snip one of the corners and then pipe the batter evenly into each cavity. Now we'll take our donuts over to our oven where they will need to bake for about 10 to 12 minutes. You can usually tell they're finished baking when a toothpick inserted in the center of one of the larger ones comes out clean. All right, now once these are finished baking, I'm going to set them on a cooling rack and let them cool a little bit, but I like my donuts warm so they're not gonna sit there for very long. Now while they're cooling, I'm going to prepare my topping. In the printable recipe, I list a number of different toppings and glazes that you can use, but my favorite is a simple cinnamon and sugar mixture, so I'm going to go ahead and prepare that now. The first thing you're going to need is four tablespoons of salted butter, and you want to go ahead and melt this. Next, we'll combine a half cup of granulated sugar and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. All right, so our donuts are still pretty warm, so we're going to carefully remove them from the baking pan onto the cooling rack. These donuts are still warm, so we're going to be careful removing them from the pan, both so we don't burn ourselves and because they're a little fragile when they're warm and we don't want them to break. Now you could just dip the donuts directly into the butter. That will really saturate them though and make them a little bit soggy. So my preference is just to use a pastry brush and lightly brush the butter onto the bottom, which is now the top of each donut. Now we'll take the donut and we will just dip that in our cinnamon sugar mixture. Return it to our cooling rack. And of course we'll repeat with the rest of our donuts. I'm just showing six for now, but this topping is enough for 12 donuts. And that is how you make these super simple baked donuts. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Very simple. I can't wait to hear how you like it if you try it out yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. I could eat all 12 of these.